Uh, I've got... Oh! Right. Hello? Sir? Sir? You are running You appear to be running away with my coins there, sir. Hello, everybody! My name is Python, and welcome back to the second episode of Python's Realm. We are back! Thank you so, so much for the amount of support you showed in the first episode. At the time of me recording this, we hit well over 2,000... 300 likes. I have never seen support like it. So honestly guys from the bottom of my heart Thank you so so much for that if we can keep that kind of support up that would be truly truly incredible I just want to I just want to say you guys are just like absolutely killing it. You guys are amazing I love you so much. So honestly guys really thank you so so much for the amount of support you showed on the first episode But we are back today my friends We are digging up some ore because apparently I forgot to do so in the first episode because I'm a complete numb nuts So that's all Always good to see. Right, now then. I don't really want to go down there because there's a marble biome and I don't want to be getting killed by the hoplites, you know, the guys that throw the javelins. So if we can avoid that, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I'm just trying to have a little bit of a search around. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's not intentional. Can I get out of it? Oh, come on, mate. I'm going to get out of it before I drown. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not having my first death of the series be to drowning. That would be rather embarrassing. In fact, that'd be, like, so incredibly embarrassing, I might just have to end the series. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, yeah, we, uh, we're going ahead and doing a wee bit of mining here, my friends, because, uh, yeah, we need to, we need to get some new stuffs. We need to try and see if we can't find a bunch of ores. I would like to try and make a clock in today's episode, just so I could keep a track of what time it is, uh, you know, uh, while I'm on the ground, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if we can keep an eye on the time, that'd be fantastic. So, uh, I am thinking of making a lead watch. So we're going to need some chains, and we are also going to need ourselves, uh, well, lead bars, obviously, so... Let's see about finding some. So there's nothing around here, unfortunately. That is a bit on the bad side. We've got tin right here. I don't think I really want tin. I would very much prefer having some of the good old lead. So if we can get some, that would be fantastic. Alright, so maybe in this cave to the left hand side here, there's going to be some of the good old lead. Come on, buddy. You want some lead with that? I do want some lead with that. I want all the lead. Seriously? There's no lead? Really? Wow, okay, well, this game is like a huge disappointment. Good stuff, man, good stuff. Alright, is there going to be anything in here? It doesn't look like it, if I'm honest with you guys, but uh, we're going to go ahead and dig over just to have a little bit of a look. I can see, like, two bits to my top left, just next to the branch there, but that's not really going to be enough, is it, huh? Well, good lord. Right. But uh, anyways, uh, a couple of things I wanted to address. First of all, yes, you may have noticed by now that I have upgraded to, you know, 1080p full screen as opposed to just going ahead and playing 720p. So as a result, the character seems a bit more zoomed out. And while well, there's not really a lot I could do about that, so, you know, you're just going to have to get used to it, I guess, because I'm actually rather enjoying playing, playing 1080p in a, in a recording. The only time I normally do it is, you know, off camera when I'm just playing in my spare time. And, uh, I don't know, I just felt like, I felt like the time was now. I mean, we've got this massive world, and I felt like it's only fitting that we're able to go ahead and see as much of it as we possibly, possibly can. So, uh, oh, I can actually make myself some more torches, which I guess is okay. Alright, wow, two bits of lead, man. Two bits of lead? We are absolutely killing it here, man. Holy lord. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can't get up here. Come on. There we go. All right. So, uh, lead. No sign of lead. Still just tin. I've got a feeling we might not be, like, far enough down in terms of altitude in order to find it. So, hmm. I think we may have to go exploring on the surface, perhaps, and see if we can't find ourselves some. Uh, unless there's some in this little cubby hole, which I kind of doubt. Because it's such a small cubby hole. So, I don't know. Who knows? We might find we might find the mother loaded there. You know? Is that a pressure plate? It's not a pressure plate. Okay, cool. I am okay with the fact that that is not a pressure plate. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to place that torch right there. And we're going to go ahead and grab as much of this lead ore as we possibly can. Without drowning, of course. Because, you know, drowning is a little bit bad. You don't want to be doing that. Definitely not. Certainly not me either. Right. Uh, well, is there something down there? It looks like a bunch of tin. Uh, there. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Sonny Jimbo. Brilliant. Hey, man. I'm definitely okay with finding a bunch of cobweb and, uh, you know, another cave down here. So, yep, yeah, that's cool. If I can actually, like, get down here, that'd be fantastic. All right, uh, let's try and... Oh, there we go. Hey. Uh, got some vases down here. No sign of any more torches. Oh, 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 is that more emerald? Hold the phone a minute. We've got some more emerald, folks. That's, do you know, do you want to know why that's fantastic? Because we can make ourselves a hook, ladies and gentlemen. In episode two, we are going straight up to having ourselves an emerald hook. That's like, mm, yeah, that's, that's like a new record. I'm pretty damn sure. All right. So yeah, look at this, man. Emeralds for days. I have no idea how much is actually here. Seems to be a lot though. Uh, yeah, wow. This is crazy. Uh, stone block, stone block, emerald, emerald. Oh! Oh, that's sand. Thought it was smart. It almost actually killed me. Well, it didn't. It took me down to half health. Right, how are we doing in terms of cobwebs? 42. So that should be enough to make ourselves a bed. That is also a very, very good goal to try and strive for. Oh, the lack of torches is so real. I don't think I like it, man. All right, let's just go ahead and do the ye olde method of just digging our way out of here. And then what I think we're going to do next. Uh, oh, we got 15. If we had 18 bits of lead, we sh we would have been able to make it, I think. I can't remember. How many, bit how many bars is it to make a, a watch? I think it might actually be 10. So in which case, I absolutely definitely don't have enough. Well, that's a bit of a heartbreaker. Hey there, buddy! How you doing, Mr. Mr. Jake? Not having, like, private parties, are you? You actually gonna allow me in? Yeah? Alright, good man, good man. Is that lead up there? I think it... No, no, it's not lead. Oh, man. And I've just pretty much ruined the place. Right, okay. Well, I guess that's why we have ourselves a living wood wand. So, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I just repaired it like a pro. Alright, so, let's make ourselves an emerald hook, ladies and gentlemen. And let's chuck it right in there. I can't believe it, man. That's, that is pretty sweet. The fact that we have ourselves an emerald hook on episode two, that is quite something. So we need ourselves, I do believe six more bars. So six times three is 18. So we need to find ourselves 18 lead ore. I think the best thing to do at this point is to go ahead and mine this little place up here because there appears to be a decent amount. Okay, sweet. Do you know what we might actually wind up doing? I might just bomb this because it's it's a quicker way of doing it. It's much more effective. You don't lose any blocks either. Oh, the little wormy. <laughs> he must have he must have been terrified. All right, boom. Come on, get destroyed, son. Yeah, that's what I like to see. All right, so now we've got ourselves a massive hole in the ground, like a like a creeper came by and exploded it. Ugh. Well, that's a thing. All right, so let's head back down. Let's get ourselves a clock going because clocks are very, very useful. Even the even the lead ones are decent because I do believe the lead ones. Uh, oh, are we? Oh no, that's the tin watch. We don't want a tin watch. We would like ourselves a slightly better one because we are we are more classy. We are more classy than that. We we can afford a better one, right? Wait, really? Ten lead? Can I not make a lead watch? Is not is that not something I can do? Huh. Can one not make a lead watch? For real? Uh, looking through, looking through, looking through, looking through. I don't see a lead watch. Well, I've got to say, my friends, I'm actually pretty surprised about that. There's no lead watch that exists in this game, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, I guess what we could do is make a... I don't know, a living wood clock or something? Is that something we can make? Let's have a look really quick. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Hmm. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Rich mahogany? Palm wood? There is so much stuff here. It's actually kind of ridiculous. All right, let's have a look here. So if we had some glass... Oh, there's some sand below us, isn't it? We can make ourselves a grandfather clock, and then we can tell the time. But I'm really quite surprised at the fact that we can't make ourselves a lead watch. I'm actually really surprised about that. A little bit disappointed as well, if I'm honest with you guys. All right, let's go and put that right there. And there we go. Obviously, the, the tin watch isn't that great. It only tells the time to the hour as opposed to, to like half an hour or to the minute. So that's a bit sucky, but oh well. All right, guys, let's head over to the left hand side and we're going to see if we can't find ourselves some, some cool things because, you know, we haven't explored a great deal of the world yet. Who knows? We might find ourselves some surface chests. 
In fact, talking about surface chests, could there potentially be some down here? Ah, oh, the lack of torches again is so real. There's no slimes around either, which I'm pretty surprised about. Where are those fools? I've just realised there's a chest down here. How did I not notice that? Wait, what? How did I actually not notice that? Guys, I swear to the Lord, I am actually blind. How? I don't even know, man. I literally don't know how I missed that out. But apparently I did because I'm a massive doofus. That's great. Alright, now then. Let's go ahead and kill some slimes, man. Because I want to get some uh, I want to get some gel and therefore some torches. So let's just head down here really quick. Bada boof. Alright. Alright. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh. Yep. Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, run out of uh, mana. That's great. Boom. Uh, oh, we've got three fallen stars as well, so we can make ourselves a mana crystal. Fantastic. Hey, buddy. Hey, get destroyed, son. Come on. Come on. Get out of it. Here we go. Hey, I like that, man. We got ourselves, what, five bits of gel right now? I can definitely deal with that. Right. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to go ahead and put some ropes up here. Uh, ropes. Yep. That'll do nicely. There we go. And now we should be able to get ourselves out of here. Bye-bye, slimy. <laughs> What are those guys doing? Bunchy idiots. Alright, boom. Give me that. There we go. Some day bloom seeds. They're going to be useful for potions, obviously. They can be made into potions of regen. Uh, that's the corruption. Let's not go over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be uh, I'm not gonna be going ahead and doing that because I don't want to be dying today. No, sir. If any of those blooming eaters of souls follow me, then uh, I'm pretty much done. Oh, good sweet lord, yep, they follow me, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like this. This is gonna go poorly. This is gonna go poorly. Unless I could trap him. Apparently I'm trapping him. Hey man. Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Today's not the day where you kill me. You will not be victorious today, okay? Get out of my sight. Alright, cool. So, eight bits of gel. Very, very good. We can at least get ourselves some more torches at the very least. There we go. Uh, and I fell down. Well, good lord. I am so good at this game. It is actually unbelievable. Alright, come on, man. Let's get over here. And I'm trying to think of what else I could do. I can make myself a bed. I think that would be a very, very worthy thing to do, in fact. Uh, I got... Oh. Right. Hello? Sir? Sir? You are running... You appear to be running away with my coins there, sir. You... You are, like, the most disrespectful person I've ever seen. What is up with that? Well, the good news is he didn't take my gold coins, so, you know. Oh, there he is. Hey, you! I'm going to sort refuge on you, or, or revenge. Apparently, I can't English. That's great. There you go. Get destroyed. Hey, man. You ain't doing that again, all right? You're not going to destroy me again. I got killed by a slime? Man, that's not the most embarrassing way to die in the entire world. What is up with that? I don't even know, man. All right, so let's head back to base, and we're going to attempt... To make ourselves a bed. We should be able to do it, right? We've got the wood. We've got the lead. We've got the chains. We should be able to do this. There shouldn't be any reason why we shouldn't be able to do this. Alright, so. Heading back to base. Heading downstairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So, I really do hope you guys are enjoying this style of Let's Play. You know, trying not to sort of cut every few seconds. Because I feel like I've done that a lot in my other series. And I don't feel like it's a great way of doing it. Uh, well, I mean, it's good for progress. But it's not very good for sort of keeping you guys in the loop with me. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I feel like doing it this way for this particular series because it's a completionist playthrough or semi-completionist playthrough. I think I think this is a better way of doing it personally. I really do. All right, do you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna make ourselves another lamp. I'm gonna chuck it out there. Uh, living wood loom, living wood lamp. That'll do nicely. All right, and you can go right there. Sweet. Okay. So now we should be able to make ourselves some silk which is awesome, and as a result of that, we should be able to make ourselves a bed. Uh, there we go, bed, fantastic. All right, and you can go up there, right? Your bed is obstructed. Wait, what? It was not. My bed is not obstructed, fool. What do you want about? Hmm, right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and swap the positions of these two, perhaps. Maybe that'll do the job. Okay, so this can go here. Hmm, question is, what if I, what if I move the platforms down a bit? Is that still going to work? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, that's not going to work. Oh, man, what am I doing with my life? I'm doing things wrong. That's what I'm doing. So, yeah, chest can go there. 
And let's use the old grappling hook to get myself up here really quick. There we go. And then we could put the living wood loom in here, which is nice. And yeah, I actually feel like that works quite nicely to make it look a bit more organic, perhaps. And there we go. Spawn point set. Fantastic, man. And it's just become nighttime because of the, you know, the music. So, 30 torches is the amount we currently have, my friends. We haven't explored all of the caves to our left hand side here. I feel like I might be on an idea to do that, to see if we can't find ourselves some decent goodies. That'd be very, very cool, of course. Uh, right. Hello? Alright, nothing over there. Let's, uh, let's grapple over there. There we go, nice one. Okay, oh! Huh. Well, apparently I left out some uh, some emeralds. That's fantastic. All right, buddies. Let's uh, let's go ahead and turn that into a bit of a stairway. <laughs> oh, that poor little red slime. His usefulness as a as a mercenary killer has come to an end. <laughs> he can't get me. He can't touch me. Like MC Hammer, he can't touch this. Hey, hey, red slime. Hey, come here. Come here. Go on. Come on. Come on. Get off. Oh, mate, you're getting destroyed, son. There you go. You just got absolutely destroyed. All right, uh, do we have any... We do not appear to have any glow sticks. Well, that's a bit of a heartbreaker. I wouldn't mind being able to see underwater, friendo. But apparently Terraria is going to be like, nope. No, no, no. You could, you could stay blind, sonny. Hmm. Right. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I can have a bit of a look-see over here. I don't see anything on the surf. Oh... That was unintentional. I can't see a th oh, can't see a thing. Okay, can I get back up safely? Yes, I can. Sweet. Right. If all goes wrong, I do have myself a, a bit of a plan B in that uh, I do have myself some recall potions now. I got them from that chest, so that is all good and dandy. Right. Let's just have a bit of a uh, nothing up there. All right. Well, there's not much I could do about that, huh? Hmm. Okay. What is up there? Is there anything cool up there? I don't know, man. I feel like I should have a look. There seems to be a lot of cobweb. I'm pretty sure spider biomes don't spawn this high up. Although I could be wrong. Can I, like, actually, like, get up here and stuff? Oh, come on, man. Oh, uh, yep, there we go. Oh, fantastic. Made it. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, really? Nothing? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Unless there's something up there. No, there isn't. Alright, well, that's a bit of a heartbreaker. Is there anything further down? Not really, apart from that marble bone, which frankly I don't really want to be going ahead and exploring. Hmm. Ah, do you know what? I could put... Do you know what? I might just say... I just might... Yeah, I might just do it. I'm going to go see the marble bone, man. I do have a beautiful recoil potion, which is going to TP me back to base. Because obviously, you know, I set my spawn point, so that's all good and dandy. All right, uh, let's put ourselves a torch there. Nothing going on there. All right, are we going to be able to come down here? Holly up! There we go. All right, well, hello. Oh, that. Oh, that be a pressure plate. I don't want to be getting on the wrong side of that. Hmm. Right, well. No sign of any, like, extreme baddies. We do, of course, have Big Mama Slime right here with 180 health to her name. What is up with that? There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, there we go. Wow, they do 25 damage to me? That's crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, give me all the, give me all the gel. Thank you very much. All right, there we go. Ah, you see, you see how nice it is when you cooperate? Hmm. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. Uh, ooh. Is that an enchanted sword? Oh, man. My hopes and dreams were just demolished in one shot right there, my friends. That would have been amazing if it was. Do you know what? To finish off the episode, I think what we're going to go and do is we're going to sticky bomb this platinum. Because sticky bombing platinum is the way to do it, my friends. There we go. Fantastic. How much did we get from that? Uh, 32. I don't think that's going to be enough to make a watch, unfortunately. All right, let's get ourselves out of here. And yeah, I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be time to end this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to leave a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Your support has been very, very much appreciated. And yeah, I shall see you guys in the next episode.